turn to ice. So, I gotta get Kit in. <laughs> but we'll see what the day brings. Okay, so this is today's update on the baby lamb. Yep. Um, we made two mistakes, correct? Yep. What were they? We didn't keep him wrapped up last night, and we didn't do him penicillin yesterday for his rattle. We thought it would clear up. So we thought his rattle would clear up, and then this morning he was not doing very well. He was having trouble. Um, the other thing is, is that, um... We didn't wrap him up. We kept him wrapped up and warm all day long. But then the way we had the kennel with the heater blowing, we thought it was better the way we had it. But he's going to have to be wrapped up at night to keep him warm. <coughs> now, how did we address this this morning? First thing we did was he was lethargic, so we gave him honey, right? Okay. And then after that, we popped him with some penicillin. Some penicillin. And then... Please. Put a jacket on him, Stopping right? Him on bed. And wrapped him all up and did the layer thing, layer and heat in my bed with an electric blanket wrapped all around him. So he made leaps and bounds back to being what he should be. Three o'clock's feeding this morning went how? Good. Good. He's he, about an hour. He's, good. Yep. The other thing that we have failed to mention is that he has to be up and around animals aren't meant to lay a lot and if we want those lungs to clear he has to be in the upright position don't you it's just like after surgery when we have anesthetic doctors tell you get up and around um he needs to be up and around so what baby are you coming to see me i know you're supposed to be back over in front of the fire and we did go and find another jag we got to find a, a better one for him this one's a little too small isn't it Yes, he's just a too long, like long-bodied guy. Yes. So, all right, RJ, we're gonna keep him warm the rest of the day. Yep. And he should be fine, huh? Yep. Okay. So, we're about one o'clock, right? Two o'clock? I don't even know what time it is. Thirteen hundred hours. Thirteen hundred hours. That means one. All right. And how has it progressed? Good. The shot of penicillin's helping him breathe. He's still retracting a little bit, right? But he's pooping, he's peeing, he's eating regular intervals. And RJ is on warm duty now, right? Yeah, so, and he's doing really good. He's still a little, when he gets cold, he gets a little down, but, right? Yep. RJ's job is really hard, huh? You get cramps in places you didn't even know you had. Oh, whiny, whiny, baby. You have a pillow or two. Actually, you just keep putting the pillows up here. <laughs> well, I use them for a little bit, and I pull them back down. Okay. So, anyway, but he's doing good. He's not, you can't hear him, like, breathing, can you? No. He's not as rattly. So, all right. Hopefully, the day will keep going like this, and he'll be doing good. And RJ will be well rested too. Here's Carrie's baby. Hello, guy. How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to name him yet. Haven't got that far yet, but here he is. He's doing pretty good. He's nibbling a little bit. Yeah, mama. Miss Carrie here. She got her here. Reba's laying over here. Can't really see her, but. Got these guys going good. Yeah. You're blocking my shot, girl. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, I don't have a very good shot of him. Oh, hey. Let's get down here and see. Oh, that's even worse, didn't it? Don't stomp at me, Missy. Yeah. Nice. There we go, yeah. It's a real cold day. There you go. Baby, yeah. Wrong end, man. You gotta go the other end. Yeah. There we go. And he 
he's doing good. So, well, we're in this inside the mom and hopefully get it posted sometime today. But.